can see uh, Stewie McSwain is uh, in well, a shade of red. It's almost orange here at the venue. So Gregson is in the green. Okay. okay. <laughs> so got, nothing got... like changing the colours just before they jump. <laughs> There's McSwain. So away they go in the 3200. So just about to uh, come into the straight is Oscar Robinson, who leads the way here. Jai Hadfield. In fact, I'm not sure if Robinson's there. So Hadfield, then Dale, Tom Thorpe wears the red and white. There's Stuart McSwain, who will uh, have a bit of a task. His first task, Tamsin, is to try and catch up to Matt Ramsden, who starts off... 40 metres in the white, then Robinson, McNeil, Rayner and Gregson are in a bit of a group with Geordie Williams. So that group of Williams, Gregson, Rayner, McNeil, Robinson will try and work together. Ramsden will try and join them and McSwain just wants to uh, maintain his pace as best he can, looking for around 62 second laps. Well, that's the hard bit because in front of Stewie McSwain, he's got quality athletes, so it's actually not going to be easy for him to latch on to them. It's not like talking about an average runner running around that you want to catch on to. So he really has to try and focus on his own race and trying to hit that 62-second lap, which makes it easier for the four in the middle, um, the Brett Robinson, McNeil, Rayner and Gregson, to work together because they're already together. So they probably have it a little bit easier than Ramsden in the white and McSwain in the red at the back who have to do a lot of this early work on their own. So there's Tom Thorpe, who's leading this little group with Adam Spencer. Tom Thorpe is coached by Tim O'Shaughnessy. Um, he's a Deakin Uni Bachelor of Business Sports Management and lives with Geordie, Geordie Williams and Matt Ramsden. So here's this group of Rayner, Robinson in the blue, Dave McNeil in the pink, and then Gregson. And this is exactly what they wanted. This is what happened at Parkdale. They'll get together and uh, just try and stretch away from Ramsden, who is about probably 20 metres behind them. He'll come into our pitcher shortly. And McSwain, who's just edging a little bit closer of that 40 metres that he's given up. You'll see Robinson, there's Ramsden, just running into frame. And McSwain is probably... He's probably cut about 10 metres out of Matt Ramsden's lead. So they go down, in fact, the, the second group are down the back straight. Our leader, Jai Hadfield from Wesley College, uh, off 290 metres, the Australian underage champion, the all schools level. He's uh, 1,500 and 3,000 metre champion as well, coached by Ashton McDonnell. There he is, Jai Hatfield from Wesley. Good school that, Tamsin. <laughs> well, he's actually quite dangerous because he did a huge personal best last week in a 1,500-metre race of 3.49, which makes him quite dangerous out there off that handicap of 290 metres. That next pack has some quality athletes in it as well. Adam Spencer. Oh, here we see Stuart McSwain. See how incredibly hard it is to be on his own. See, the other athletes, most of them have someone to work with, but... But Stuart McSwain and Ramsden are still on their own because those quality athletes in front of him are the ones that are too hard to catch early. Well, we caught up with Stuart McSwain earlier. Let's get some thoughts from the man about what he needs to do today. You've got a lot of people spread out around the track. So um, from my role at the back, I'm just going to have to go full tilt the whole way. There's no messing around when you've got to catch all the guys. So every lap I'll be hammering, trying to get the next person, next person, next person, and hopefully I can get close to try and reeling in the whole field, which will be the ideal goal. Well, he's making some ground on Matt Ramsden. Ramsden's a very impressive athlete, qualified for Tokyo, the Oceania 1,500-metre champion. That's the man in the white we're talking about, 2019 World Championship representative. And uh, McSwain's just about got on to him, and it's really important in these blustery conditions. What a year Ramsden had last year. 3.50 for the mile, fastest in the world, 1,500 and 3,000 Australian record holder. Hails from King Island. They love their golf cheese and distance running Tamsin <laughs> King Island and he's affectionately referred to as the king of King Island he is and he's, he's affectionately known like that because he is just a superb athlete I mean what athlete qualifies in three events for an Olympic Games and that's how good Stuart McSwain is as we see he's really working hard in that last lap he's he's caught back on to Matt Ramsden which will give him a little bit of heart but we can see here Adam Spencer in the front of that group in the grey he's the one who's making the move he's a, He's a Tim O'Shaughnessy, another Tim O'Shaughnessy trained athlete, another Wesley 
boy who's heading to the Uni of Wisconsin in August. So he's a great 1500 metre runner, came second at the Melbourne Track Classic earlier in the year. So that's Adam Spencer leading that pack right there out in front. And that's Thorpe behind him and then Chris Dale. A full disclosure, my boys go to Wesley, so that's why I'm a bit uh, enamoured by them. Um, so, so Thorpe, is, well, he's decided that he needs to start to get a bit of a wriggle on because it's Jai Hatfield who's a long way out in front, the 16-year-old. And so Thorpe has decided that uh, it's his time to go and Adam Spencer is going with him and they've just burnt off Chris Dale a fraction. Then there's this uh, next group and, well, they're gonna be, there's McSwain. He's gone past Ramsden, so that's impressive. So Ramsden's just about done, I reckon. The 23-year-old uh, 1,500-metre um, proponent who's got his sight sets on Tokyo. Gregson in the green. Ramsden is done. McSwain's going to pick up Gregson pretty quickly. And then there's that group that are working really well together. And it's uh, Dave McNeil, Brett Robinson in the blue, Jack Rayner. He looks like Steve Free P. Fro Pre Fontaine. I'll say that again. <laughs> the, uh, the famous distance man from Oregon in the yellow. McNeil in the pink almost uh, got tripped up there. Ben Buckingham's the tall athlete in the grey. And number nine is with them as well. And that's Joel Tomlin White. And there's McSwain. McSwain, is, them off. McSwain has just gone past Gregson and Geordie Williams and he is really targeting that next group. And on the back of the, the last group there is Ben Buckingham who's just fresh off a personal best over the 3,000 metre steeplechase. He's a steeplechaser. And if, if he can catch on to this group, this group's moving a lot faster. He may be able to then start to peg closer. But at the moment it's all about Jai Hatfield out there in, in the lead. So six minutes in, he's a long way in front, Jai Hatfield. He's uh, going down the back straight past the footy club rooms at the moment. There he is. So the 16-year-old off 290 metres. He's starting to slow a fraction. Tom Thorpe is setting sail for him. He's in second place with the buzz cut. Then we go back to Adam Spencer. He's starting to move up and down on the one spot. Then Robinson. He's moving pretty well. Brett Robinson, Rayner stuck to him like glue. Followed by Joel Tomlinson White. Then in the pink, it's Dave McNeil. And he looks like he's uh, done a bit. And well, McSwain's starting to move up on them. There's McSwain going past McNeil. So he's starting to make his presence felt. So he's going to get the bell here. He's going to be very difficult to catch Jai Hatfield. Thorpe's probably the only one. They will stop out in front. Rain up. Followed by Robinson. McSwain is behind them. I'm not sure if they're going to catch this out, Mark Tamsin. <laughs> no, he's got a second wind. It's been really tough for him out there on his own, not really knowing what pace he's going at and just running with no help at all. But Jai Hatfield has now found a second wind because he knows he's on his way for home and nobody's got to him yet. Well, Tom Thorpe is probably the only danger at the moment and he is starting to move pretty quickly as they go down the back straight past the footy club rooms. 200 to go. And it's Hadfield who leads. Thorpe really starting to charge now. Rayner is in third. McSwain's not going to get there. Starting to stop is Hadfield. Here comes Tom Thorpe as they come around in the AI, Vi AI Vitality Handicap 3200. Thorpe is going to get there, I reckon. He's going to fly past. Has Hadfield got anything left? The answer is no. He's got nothing left. And Tom Thorpe looks left, looks right, salutes the judges and takes the win from Hadfield. Rayner's going to get third, and Stuart McSwain is going to fly home to get fourth. Wow, Tom Thorpe. <laughs> well, I think we're going to see some carnage at the end of this race. The athletes had to put in a lot of work. What a fabulous effort from the back marker, Stuart McSwain, to get the fourth spot there. Just finishing behind Rayner, who also ran brilliantly, the marathoner. Um, who's sitting in that third position for the qual qualification for Tokyo. But it's all about Tom Thorpe, the 24-year-old Tim O'Shaughnessy trained athlete who was selected for the World Unis Cross Country last year that was cancelled. So this is some sort of consolation for him, I'm sure. Yeah, coach is in a junior athletic program, Tom Thorpe, and uh, he loves getting out there with the kids. And that's a good win. Be interested in Stuart McSwain's time. Craig Motra made 43, one of the fastest times I've ever seen here at Stall. And, uh, well, he fresh legs, flew home. <laughs> he paced them around at Box Hill the other night and said, I'm ready for this. And you know, I was with him when he sat down after the race with Tim O'Shaughnessy. He said, just go for a couple of easy jogs. He lives with uh, Geordie Williams, Matt Rams. And I'll tell you what, he'll be able to just give it to them for the rest of the week. Hey, <laughs> who won the 3,200 at Stall, boys? Jason, Tom Thorpe, impressive.